Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Says five people are in here. Beauty, hi through the through. Hey y'all. Let me turn this damn light down, son. Let me see. What does this one do? I wonder. Oh, goodness. Hey, all y'all. Hey, Sandy Otto. Jojo Mama. Hey, Judy. Hey, Kathy Clements. This is your first time? Well, welcome, Kathy. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Grace. Hey, Dee. Hey, Lucy Lou. Let me get back up here. <clears throat> Judy Scalet. Cindy's thrifting again. Hey, Laura Bush. Connie Emmerich. Hey, darling. Patricia. Very nah. Verena, 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 I guess. Hey, Teresa Bryant. Hey, Laura Bimos. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Karen. Hey, Diane. Hey, Kathy Clements. Well, Diane. Empty nesting, too. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Angie, you're off work. Hallelujah. Hey, Kendra Joe. Hey, Christy. Welcome, Kathy Clements. Hey, Mary Scott and Brandy Cable. Welcome back, baby. Hey, Angela. No green box. And I got a story for y'all. Yes, I do. Hey, Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Hey, Mary Cox. <coughs> Sherry Lynn. Hey, darling. Jojo Mama, Sandy Otto. Hey, Chicago Lady. Hey, Joan Creek Moore. All right, let me just tell y'all. Okay, let me go ahead and first apologize for the invoices and everything being late this week. But Monday afternoon, I was heavy duty into it. I was just a getting it, just a getting it. Well, I went over there. Hey, Nate. Nate's just sending hey, you Nate. all kind of kisses, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not down that far yet. I'm still writing names down. Lucy Lou, hey, baby. Hugs and kisses anyway, to you too, Nate. I was I was steady getting at it. I was over there at, at my little table, and I was just a getting it, just a working. Well, all of a sudden, my screen just starts going flickety, 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 you know, like a, like jumping, like it had jumping beans in it or something. Well, I thought, hmm. So I turned off and, like, reset it. I, I put it on a reset. Closed all the windows, put it on reset. So it come back on, and it... And it was there, but it had little static lines all in it. Well, long story short, y'all, that darn thing, when I uh, started to close out the windows again, it went beep, 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 and it was gone. And when I say it was gone, it was long gone. There wasn't no getting it back. There wasn't done nothing. Well, I am so indecisive when it comes to spending money. Well, that kind of money. You know, the kind of money it takes to, to buy a new laptop. So anyway, my cousin Rita, bless her heart, her and her husband Brian, they went on Facebook and they found me a used one until I can make up my mind about what kind of one. You know, because you just, I, I mean, if I'm going to spend $1,500 on a laptop, I'm sure going to do some research first. But surely, to goodness, no more than I do, I can find one for cheaper than that. But I want to thank them, thank my sweet cousins, Rita and Brian, because they took my laptop. Because, see, this is another thing. I bought it from an individual. So I'm... I'm thinking they have got some kind of uh, some kind of software or some kind of virus or something on here, and they're selling this laptop for dirt cheap, and they're going to go in here and get my uh, all my bank information and stuff off of it. So I was just sweating, but I wouldn't do nothing on the darn thing. I had it two days and would not do a darn thing on it. So anyway, uh, Rita come. She stopped on her way home from work and took it home. And uh, yes, bless Brian and Rita. And um, yes, thank y'all. <laughs> And uh, yes, it was scattered, smothered, and covered. And they, uh, he checked it all out for me. And uh, he said, it'll do me fine until I make up my mind about what kind I want. Oh, honey, Katie, frustrating wasn't the word. And then I got to thinking about, you know, somebody being able to, to get in my 
bank it. I, and I don't know that they can even do that, but you know, it's something you have to worry about, you know? But anyway, so I apologize, but it's working just fine now. And he has, uh, Brian took everything completely off of it and put me back on it. And I um, mean, put, set up all my stuff on it and everything and got us where we can do the, uh, Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. And uh, got me where I can do it from a laptop on the uh, laptop. So we're going to see how it works out tonight because we're on it. But, um, yes. It, hey, Rita Spencer. That, hey. Now, that's my cousin, Rita Spencer. She's the one, her and her husband uh, fixed my laptop up for me. Thank you, Rita. Tell Brian thank you as well. Hey, Wendy Melton. We're going to have a good little sale tonight. Um, I got about a little over 50 items, hey, but I got some, hey, Deanna, Kara just came I received the Santa mug safe and sound, honey, I ain't never heard that is, that is joy to my ears, all six of them, love, love, love them, oh, I the, will take care of them, the yes, Santa the, Claus mugs the face and, mugs, oh, thank God they got their nothing, nothing oh, Lord, 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 hey, Stephanie Barber, hey, Stephanie, hey, Crystal, oh, thank, yes, Rita said, thank you, baby. What you posted on IG looks fabulous. What did I post on IG? Lord, I ain't posting nothing. Oh, the stuff, the little pictures. Well, that wasn't nothing, honey. That was earlier this afternoon when I was just getting everything ready. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Nicole North Garden. Hey, Cheryl Madison. Oh, hey, Kara. This ranch wife life. My daughter-in-law loves her booby. Is that not the cutest little thing? Just the cutest little thing. Blue Flamingo. Welcome back, baby doll. Teresa Bryant, I think I just said hi to you. But, yeah, so that's why I went on a few minutes early, because I wanted to make sure everything was okay, you know. Hey, Penny. Hey, Penny Forshee. Butterfly nurse, butterfly nurse. I love that name, butterfly nurse. Hey, Sue. Sue Spezio. I don't think you've been here before, Sue. So welcome, honey. I hope you have a good time. Hey, Victoria H., Okay, let me tell y'all, if there's anybody that don't know um, how to participate in a live sale, you can just put it down here in the chat. But um, we're going to be showing items, and um, they'll either be uh, just a sell outright. I'll tell you what, uh, the price of the item. I'll describe it a little bit and then give you um, a number to put in the chat over here to claim it. The first person that shows up on uh, mine and Kelly's um, chats that claims it, will win that item. Some of the items will be offer up, and that means that um, I'll give you a starting bid. Uh, we'll run it for a 90-second timer, and um, whoever's got the highest offer before I type in stop wins that item. And um, you type it. I've got my uh, hey, email address in the uh, description to this video, so when the video ends, you'll be able to see it. But if you've bought from me before, you don't have to, unless something's changed. Like sometimes you might want something to go to a different address, or sometimes your email might change. If you bought from me before and that happens, you you do need to tell me. But if you bought from me before and everything's the same, you don't have to send it again. But if you're new here and never bought before, I need your PayPal email address that's associated with your PayPal account, <coughs> your real name, and your shipping address. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, and, Mandy. Uh, the shipping is not included in any of the items that I'm selling tonight. And uh, it, it's usually not that bad uh, unless you're it's going to Canada. And Lord have mercy, it, it costs um, uh, over $15 just to ship a pair of earrings in a little box over there. But anyway, but we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a, hey, Randy. We're going to have a good time tonight. Hey, Sabrina Simon. And, um, Let's see. Oh, my vintage. Vintage Shift and Treasures. Hey, baby. Hey, oh, my vintage. What you doing, Kimbo? If you mean anything. Yes. Thank you, Katie, for putting it in there for me. Hey, Mimi. And if y'all came from Vinny's sale, didn't he have a good sale? And those books, those magazines, the stories in them, I just couldn't get over it. Those stories in there. He had a good little sale. He's cute as a button. I wish I had a daughter young enough to date him. Thank you, Vintage and Vinyl. I wish I had a daughter wasn't married and young enough to date him. There you go. That's what I should have said. <laughs> Deanna. Uh, hey, 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 Cindy. Mimi's Treasure Cottage. How are you, baby? Okay, let me tell y'all who's got... Okay, the following people still have $10 credits that they can use tonight. I just wanted to let you know because y'all will forget about them if I don't remind you. 
Okay, Race 2010H, you still have a $10 credit on the books. Jane Tipton, you still have a $10 credit on the book. And Joanne, a work in progress, still has $10. So those three people still have $10 in addition to what Kelly's going to give away tonight. <laughs> yeah, Charnell Sykes said. I'm going to have to get out of this chat. See, the chat shows up bigger on this laptop, and I can sit here, and it's just right in my face. Charnell Sykes said, I finally found you. He didn't leave a link. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Well, that's that's okay. I'm glad you I'm glad you found me, baby. Hey, Mary. You Beth. just go ahead and subscribe. And anybody who else else ain't subscribed, y'all just subscribe and hit the thumbs up button because see, that's gonna that's gonna make my video where it can be seen by more people. I think that's what it does. I'm not absolutely sure, but everybody else says hit the thumbs up. So I, by George, I'm saying hit the thumbs up. I'm not gonna get left out. Hey, Julie, Judy. I'm sure I have. Nate, you don't. You do have a ten dollar credit that you have not used. Yes, yes, you do. And I, I omitted you in error, and I'm so sorry. What now? Hey, you know what? If you, if you, uh, maybe if you keep winning, you might win enough uh, to ship something over to you. Hey, Anna Gamoy. Huh? Hey, Mary Jo. Oh, y'all. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started while Kelly's doing it. Listen at that sneeze. Did y'all hear that? No, I know you didn't hear it because it ain't nothing. It's just look. If I sneezed, honey, the whole, it would sound like the siren going off or the tornado. Hey, hey Pam. Pam's at left at place. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started over here with something. Hang on just a second. I'm going to run back and forth while Kelly's doing this. <clears throat> hey, Mimi. Laura M. Vintage Thrifted Treasures. Do I already have her? Lord have mercy. When they sleep. Okay. First up is this um, vintage ceramic uh, owl bank. One of the one of his eyes looks like it's closed and winking. And it's the slot where the money goes in. And it's got a Japan sticker on the bottom. And this, it's still got the stopper, but it's kind of, the gasket's kind of messed up on it right there. But it's as precious as it can be. Let me see what, okay. Let me see how tall he is. He is five inches tall and he's from the 60s. And he's just really textured with his little scales and everything. And the back of him is just, you know, just got all the little feathers and everything showing up back there. Hey, Benny. Little owl. He feels he feels like metal, but but he's ceramic. I mean, look at the bottom of it. That's cute. See? But he is $12, and he is number 33. $12, number 33, for the owl, Vintage Owl Bank. Tippy Winks Vintage. That is Christy Garza, you sweet angel. Tippy Winks. That just sounds like, I don't know, don't, it just sounds so cute uh -huh. and pixie like, don't it? Cute and pixie. Did uh, Christy Garza's stuff, uh, mailing stuff go out? I'm wondering. Yeah, so yeah, her. yeah. So I need to make her a new box. Yeah, make Christy a new box. I, I think I'll be able to tell you. I think I remember who's I'm holding until, until they order something else. Hey, Barb Jam. How you doing, Miss Barbara? Virginia, hello. How are you, darling? Okay, and next up, I have now, I have never seen one of these. Y'all may have, but I haven't. This is an Apex Moth Vaporizer. Kills moths. It is metal, and it's got all these little perforations in the metal. It's a real pretty pale pink. And you fill it up mothballs and hang it in your closet to prevent moths from coming in there. Look at this. Look at these graphics on here. I put, let me see what I put down here. How, did I look this up and say, oh, it is 1960s. But don't those graphics look like 20s? But but it's not. See, it's not the 1920s. 1960s Apex Moth Vaporizer 10. And it is, let me get the right. It is seven inches tall. 
and you know it's got this little thing to hang up it says for use in closets etc to use the instructions inside the cover but i just thought that was precious just precious and the uh apex moth vaporizer tin is 15 dollars and it's number 31 15 dollars number 31 Oh, that's a great idea. I couldn't, I couldn't see. Hey, Gina Marie. Hey, Gina Marie. Yes, with the pink. I mean, just this pale, pretty pink. And the little black accents on it. Well, welcome, Gina Marie. We they appreciate won. you. $25 for it, and that was too steep, I thought. Gina Marie, welcome, baby. I'm so glad you came. Sabrina Simon, you got the uh, moth tin. You are going to love it when you see it in person, too, sweet pea. You are going to love it. Number 31 is for Sabrina. Hey, Connie. And friend the thing. Gina Marie, do you know how to do a live sale, baby? Do you know how to participate? Is this your first time in a live sale period or just your first time at one of ours? Hi, Sarah J. How are you, baby? Mad Pie Ethel. Oh, my gosh. Don't even get me started on her Instagram. Oh, let me get something else. Okay, up next is this um, vintage, and I think this one is, it's not got a date on here, but um, for, judging from her clothes, I'm thinking this is from the, uh, let me turn this light down some more and see if I can get that out. Judging from her clothes, I would say this is the early 70s. But anyway, this is an Aunt Lydia's snowman kit. Never been used, never been opened, never nothing. To make this snowman, she's showing right here out of yarn. And the yarn is in here. Everything you need is in here. But to tell you how old this is, it says, Heavy Rug Yarn, Aunt Lydia, 70 yards, color fast, 29 cents a skein. Now, that, that's old. You know what I'm saying? It says, Make a snowman in less than two hours. A $3.51 value. I think it had a $2 price tag on it. This kit contains nine skeins of 70 yards each of Aunt Lydia's heavy runk yarn, white and black. And it just it just shows you how to make this cute little snowman kit. It's just a kit to make that. But the Aunt Lydia's kit to make the snowman is $14, and it's number 45. $14, number 45 for the Aunt Lydia's snowman kit to make your snowman in less than two hours. Hey, Annie P. How are you, baby? Hey, Annie. Hey, Virginia. Hello again. I saw them pretty cool at a great price. Well, thank you, darling. Thank all y'all for answering the questions. The feed is going so fast, and I'm trying to get stuff for mom, too. So thank y'all for answering uh, Jim Marie's questions and those from everybody else. We appreciate it. Yes, everyone. Hit the like button for me, please. Oh, what's wrong with Nate? I might have to get out. Okay, no interest in the snowman kit. I'll go on to something else then. Um, oh, now this isn't dated, but this is a hobbyist piece. I want y'all to look at this precious little ceramic mug. It's got cheers and season's greetings and a candle on this side. And it's a pale, uh, it's like a dusty rosy pink color hey Sharon. And this side has noel some holly leaves and happy holidays and it's got vr some initials on the bottom but it's not dated but i just thought that that was just so so stinking cute with a bottle brush tree or a little arrangement or something in there you know that would be so precious and it's three inches tall again it's a homemade cup and it is five dollars and it's number 17 $5, number 17, for the hobbyist ceramic Christmas cup. Hey, 
a bottle brush tree? Is that a uh, is that one of those tall skinny yeah, trees? Yes, those that like those like, up there, like those white ones on mm -hmm. there. Okay, put that to the side. Here you go. Okay, up next is another hobbyist piece. It's this vintage ghost uh, candy bowl with this little scallop, and it's not signed or anything either. And it's not, I don't know what mold was used to make it or anything, but it's just a little ghost face, and it's just, he, he just billows out and makes a little bowl. And he is... seven and three quarters inches across and he sits up four inches from the bottom to the top of his head. Hey, Dr. And his Jones. sides go up, you know, where he can hold candy down, down in here. And the little ghost candy dish, ceramic candy dish is $8 and it's number eight, $8 number eight for the ghost candy dish. Oops, sorry. Oh, Randy, Randy Hallman. Thank you, Randy. Randy girl. Hi, Ducky Jones. Hi, Ducky. Grace, what's got you tickled? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. What has got y'all so to I can't I can't do it. Kelly Michelle, get all of me. Okay. Y'all don't y'all having too much fun without me. Okay. Up next is a box of vintage. These are by Liberty Bell Company. The Liberty Bell Company. It's a box of 12 all in real good condition, too. And the or the you know, the that is, of course, you can see it's a little bell. And all of the ornaments are in there. And these are the ones with the little, these are for a feather tree. They're the little, uh, the ones with the little bitty wires coming out the top. And they're all in excellent condition. Hey, Stacey. I mean, just perfect. Just perfect. Don't look, Pamela, you were too innocent. Nate said I was too innocent, Kelly Michelle. <laughs> But the box of the vintage Christmas tree ornaments, the min, uh, miniature ones for the little feather tree, or you can use them on a different tree. It don't have to be a feather tree, but I think that they was originally made for a feather tree. The box of 12 in perfect condition red ornaments is $15, number 47. $15, number 47. He is a hot mess, Sherry. He is one more hot mess. Patricia Gessner. Patricia. Forty-seven. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, let's see. Oh. I just got a variety of different things tonight. Y'all just ain't gonna believe it. I mean, it's just you know, I just wanted to throw a mix in there. This is a 1966 set of permanent pigments hobby painter set. Now, I want you to look at this box. Now, this thing is from 1966. The little graphics on there. And inside, it's got the learning to paint brochure. It's got the color chart that tells you how to, what colors come with the kit, how to mix colors to get what you want. And they're all here except for one. Now, some of them, I, I don't know if they, I have not opened the first one. I have not opened the first one. But it's still got its paintbrush and all the colors except for one. And then it's got the linseed oil right there. But all these tubes look like, the, and it's still mushy. It's still mushy. It's not hard at all. Can you believe that? 1966. Oh. But anyway, the little set of, um, let me get this all back in here now or I'll lose it. 
and easy to follow instruction folder. Okay, the 1966 set of permanent pigments hobby painter set is $10 and it's number 22. $10, number 22. Mama J said, Pamela, did you see the feather tree that tarnished treasures found? Girl, no. But um, somebody asked me about it. I have not watched that yet. When y'all's videos pop up, if I'm working on my sale or something or shipping or something, I just click it to watch later so I don't miss it, you know. Who got it, baby? Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley, thank you, sweet pea. And um. <clears throat> somebody messaged me on Instagram and told me about it, so I can't wait. They said it's like seven foot tall or something. What well, is it? Lord have mercy, goodness, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have another diodote when I say that thing. I know I am. I know I am. Oh! Gobs. That thing is neat. Like, anyway... Gobs of mini small Christmas balls. <laughs> hey, if anybody needs to tell me anything since the chat's moving so fast, type it in all caps or one of the wrenches. Try to get my attention by typing it all in caps. If y'all if y'all see something that Mayor Kelly one needs to say, like if we do the wrong person for a sale or if y'all got a question or something. Hey, Leonda Sanders. Jojo Mama, I am Oak Grove Mercantile on Instagram. I did my Instagram years ago before I ever started the YouTube channel. Leonda, is that how you pronounce it? L A O. -L -A That's how I said it last week. Hey, Leonda. Leonda, that's neat. That's how. Uh, that's how we calling you right here right now. So if that's in, if you see any different, let me let us know. Yeah, you have to like pronunciate it out for us. <laughs> okay. Next up, I don't. I can't remember if I showed this last week or not, but it's the new in the box Home Alone Two game. No, not Home Alone Two. It's just, it says, Merry Christmas, Felt the Animal, and it's new. I opened it just to see about the, uh, to see about the uh, insides, and it's it, it's brand new. It, it was still sealed with those little dots. It's got the instructions, the uh, deck of cards, the playing pieces, and everything. It's for, what, let's see how much, what the ages are. It's for one to two to four players and uh, hold on vintage Vinny. i'll find out ages eight and up and each game only takes 15 to 20 minutes to play so if, if you uh got kids like me that are short on attention it's a perfect game and it would be perfect for you to have at your house when you know like when your grandchildren or when your uh young relatives come to play don't show the number yet i want to see something vintage Vinny is ask uh, uh what's he asking Vintage Vinny is asking. Hold on, Vintage. I'm trying. To, Vintage Vinny. I'm trying to find it. No, this is two thousand. The copyright is two thousand eighteen. Two thousand eighteen, Vinny. And the Home Alone, uh, Merry Christmas. She felt the animal game is six dollars, and it's number two. Six dollars, number two. You're welcome, You're you welcome. sweet angel. Sabrina Simon. You got number two, Miss Sabrina. Sabrina Simon. Thank you, baby. Miss Pam, what beverage are you drinking tonight? Right now, I am back on Diet Coke. But I have been being very good and I have drank three gallons of water since three gallons of water since Tuesday afternoon. Three gallons of Primo water. I stacked them up. I got it. You got, oh, okay. Up next is a, let's see how tall this is. Six inches tall. And this is the old Walmart sticker is on here when, where it looked like a general store. If y'all can see that, it looked like the old timey letters. And it says Walmart just got those old timey letters with the gold thing. But it's seven inches tall. And it's just a pair of real cute owls on a green and brown tree, old rotted down tree. And it's really textured and everything. And it's just done really, really well. It, um, 
it's not a bisque, but it's not a shiny ceramic either. But it, but it doesn't have that funny feeling that bisque does. And the pair of owls, 1970s on a green tree, figurine is $10 and it's number 14. $10, number 14. Sherry Lynn, me too. I'm sweet girl, sweet tea girl, but it's it's got to be my husband, Mark, sweet tea. Oh, Jenna Marie, thank you. Jenna Marie said, I love these ladies. I guess she's talking about it. Oh, Barb, see, I, I, I'm going to have to quit because it runs, something in them is running my blood pressure up. Plus, I just don't need it. You know, I don't need it. But I've cut so far down that it's ridiculous. I only do that soda. Sam. Oh, and love actually in the holiday. There must be more. Pam and Kelly, will you help me make a Charlie Chaplin type skit when I come to visit? I already have ideas. Of course. <laughs> of course we will. Chrissy, I know it. She said caffeine's probably doing that to your blood pressure. Right, Pamela, hey, Gina Marie, that's my daughter, Kelly Michelle. Kelly, come up around here and say hey to the new folks because they had never seen oh, her. Before. Sorry. This is Kelly Michelle. Like, She's hey, the most precious angel the Lord has ever put on this earth. Sorry. <laughs> family. Angela, you ain't right. You family raises. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay, up next is this set. Well, it's not a whole set, but it's four, four different ones. This is the Show and Tell General Electric Show and Tell Picture Sound Program, and these go on one of those little machines like that, the little record player, and it shows the movie at the same time. And the movies are still in there, and the records play good. And this one is we've got Frankenstein, Dracula, the Three Bears, and Sleeping Beauty. And all of them are 1965 except for Sleeping Beauty, and she's 1964. Let me help you hold them. Abby said, I still remember Pamela rising from behind the kitchen island to the Lion King song. What the heck did I do? Yeah, that got me in trouble on YouTube, too, honey. <laughs> Whatever I make off of that video, I got to share it with somebody. I can't even pronounce his name. They said I had to take it down or take the music off or pay them. Pay them a portion of whatever money I make. And I'm thinking, if you want to fight over 50 cents, you go right ahead. I'm leaving it up there. Anyway, the four show and tell, general electric show and tell picture and sound set is $15 for all four, and they're number 32. $15 for all four, and they're number 32. Wait a minute. What's when? What's Wendy and? Wait a uh, minute. Wendy's got a number three, and Vintage and Vinyl's got a number four. Wendy Melton, what was number three, baby? We hadn't shown number three yet. I think she just made a mistake. Maybe okay. I showed the thing for Vintage. And oh, Vinyl. Katie, that's you, baby. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. I got it, baby. No. Not for this. Uh. -uh. No. Slow down. Slow down. This right here is vintage and vinyl. All right. Katie at vintage and vinyl. Oh, I thought it just said vintage and vinyl. It does just say that, but I just called her by her name. Oh. I'm going to have to quit doing that too because oh. it gets you messed up. Number 32. Thank you, Katie. Vintage and vinyl. Vintage and vinyl. Oh, okay, Vintage and Vinyl, a.k.a. Katie. Lord have mercy. A.k.a. Katie. Wendy melted your cat. I know that. <laughs> what? The, when Wendy Melton typed something, it wasn't her. It wasn't her <laughs> typing. It was her cat. And Lord have we mercy. We got one just like it. We got, oh, Lord. Well, mercy. Kelly does. He's my grand cat. Okay, up next, anybody's already ready to buy some Christmas presents. I have another one of my Simply Southern uh, brand new wallets. This one has got the gold deer on it, and it says, hey, deer. And it's got the pink, black, pink and black plaid, Simply Southern. Open it up, and it's got um, a place for six credit cards or debit cards, a place for your change, a uh, two places for your bills, and... 
I just stick my checkbook down in here because I don't carry a lot of credit debit or credit cards with me. But um, the Simply Southern Hey Dear Pink and Black Tartan Plaid is $10 and it's number 13. $10 number 13. Hey, Doug Grimes. Hey, Dougie Doo. Mimi's treasure card is that I'm taking off. Love to all. Bye, I'm Mimi. Going. Bye, Cindy. Love you, honey. What's a check? I don't know it, Angela. I know it. But. Do you know, I can still remember when they used to teach us how to uh, write checks in a school. I wonder what they teach them how to do now. How not to write, how not to, you know, leave your pen laying around somewhere. Yes, yeah, Shirley, and we got to have sugar. Okay. Hey, Hi, Teresa, Teresa Calderini. Okay, I'll get you something else. Just... No, that's okay. Well, I'll get it. Okay, up next I have a new, I mean, not brand new, new. It's just a modern, a modern uh, tree skirt. And this one is neat because it has like the um, washable back and the front is cotton just with the bright green. And it's a large one too. The bright green and lime, lime green and red polka dots. And it's got the um, ties all the way down so you can keep it closed. But it is the huge one. It's, you know, it'll cover up a good deal of floor space. And the tree skirt is, and this came from Anna Kate and Company. If anybody around in here knows, it, it was expensive. Hey, Debbie Shaw. And the tree skirt is $12, and it's number 39. $12, number 39. For Clark Chicks. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't think about that, but I guess people printing checks, they would have to find a new job. There's certainly not no need of that now. Yeah, Michelle was in here earlier, y'all. I don't know if she's still here or not. Oh, Teresa, I know it. Ain't you excited? I get so excited when I get new things. I've got another vintage tree skirt coming up. I don't know if it'll be in next week because every week I'm going to put a little bit more and a little bit more vintage stuff in. Next week's going to be a a pretty good bit. Okay. okay. Let's see. Let me go ahead and do these. Okay. I figured with the holidays coming up, somebody might want these. But these are the Ikea. These are brand new too. I have never used them. The Ikea Sanella 20 by 20 inch uh, pillow covers. And these are the black. It's the, um, oh, what do you call these? It's the um, plush cotton velvet. The plush cotton velvet. And I mean, they are fabulous. They're just, um, they're so soft. And they're, you know, they're 20 by 20. Got the side zipper in them. They're washable, machine washable. I've washed mine dozens and hundreds and dozens of times. Hey, Critter Girl. Critter Girl said the back, she loves the back garland on the things. Oh, thank you, baby. And, um, well, I'll put that back in there in a minute. But I've got three of them. And they're all three going to the same person that claims it. There's three 20 by 20 IKEA. They're the um, lush cotton velvet is what they call it. But they're black. And they are soft as soft can be. And the three of these are $16, number 37. $16, number 37 for these three pillow covers. I know it. I love mine, too. I love mine, too. Okay. Debbie Shaw said, I got my cute turkey and hen figurine. Love, love, love it. I'm so glad, Debbie. I've been looking for a vintage tree skirt for over a year. Grace, I know. I've got you. I've got uh <laughs> I've got you covered on the down low, honey. You don't worry about it. 
I do, Danica. <clears throat> I work in retail. Oh, that's not me. Miss Grace, I ain't forgot about you, baby. Okay, up next is a brand new Calling All Cooks cookbook. But it's from 19... I think it's 1990. 1982. But it's like a new old stock piece. It's never... The spine ain't even wrapped on it. And if anybody has ever used the Calling All Cooks cookbook, you know what a good book it is. That's the yellow one. Y'all know there's several of them. Yeah. It's, the, it's uh, a, that's a good, good one. old yellow one. And the Calling All Cooks cookbook is six dollars and it's number four six dollars number four for the calling all cooks cookbook oh no nate Barbie, number four. oh no randy thank you laura you mean nate Number four is Laura Bemos. Okay, here you go. Was that right on yours? Yeah. That came in? Laura Bemos was uh, number four. <coughs> okay. Up next That's is... That's horrible, a, Nate. I think this is... Yeah, Yankee Candle. I had to make sure... Up next is a Yankee Candle Horn of Plenty uh, wax melt. It's got the little uh, glass cup that fits down in the pumpkin for the votive candle. And here's the little um, tray for the, for the wax to go in. But it is just gorgeous. Let me see if I can take this out. And see all the beautiful vegetables on there and fruits? It is just really pretty. Really pretty horn of plenty. Yankee Candle Company. Here's a little thing that goes in the bottom, y'all. And it is $15, number six, for the Yankee Candle Company Horn of Plenty Wax Warmer. That is Teresa Calderini is who I see. Teresa Calderini, is that who you said, Kelly? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Teresa Calderini, thank you, baby. I'm having withdrawals from this chat now. I know what got right. She said a vintage uh, Christmas tree skirt. Her husband put it in the washing machine and ruined it. Now, up next, I have a vintage um, 3M Scotch tape dispenser. But don't, don't know. Y'all go jump off a cliff. It's just a different one. This is the pink one from the uh, late 1960s, early 70s for the hair. The pink hair set tape. And it's still got the hair setting tape inside of it. Not a whole lot, but it's still there. But it's got the little diagram of the uh, lady, you know, put down her hair. And it's just the prettiest petal pink you ever saw. And uh, it is $7 for the vintage Scotch pink hair set tape and dispenser. And it's number 25. $7 number 25. Thank you, Kim. Pink Elephant Parlor. Pink Elephant Parlor. You got that, baby. Number 25, Pink Elephant Parlor. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Okie dokie. Okay. I'm going to do my first offer up. Let me get my timer set. 
I wonder if I can do this while I... Oh, yeah. We're going to go for uh, 90 seconds. Whoops. One minute. <laughs> And it is for this blow mold uh, lit, lit candle uh, tabletop. It's got three candles and it is a blow mold style. It's got the fake greenery right there on the front. It doesn't have a date or a maker anywhere that I've been able to find. And it's just three red candles together. And let me plug it up so you can see it lit. Hang on just a second. Let me bring all this over here. Oh, let me turn this light off. That might help some too. See, it lights up for here and break and come goes up to the flame. Really pretty. And it is, hold on a second, let me get this out of here. It is 13 inches tall. And we're gonna go for oh, I'm gonna put start in here. Hold on a second. Yeah, y'all. Hit the thumbs up, please, if you don't mind. Just take a second to do that. It's going to start it off at... We're going to start it off at $7. Start. Going for 90 seconds. On the tabletop, um, three-candle blow mold. Thank you, Vintage and Vinyl. Right now, Blue Flamingo's got it at 15. Mary Scott, 16. <clears throat> Randy, 17. Mary Scott, 18. Deanna Church, 20. Deanna Church is at 20. She's the first one at 20. Teresa Bryant's the first one at 22. Teresa Bryant's got it at 22. 45 seconds. Deanna Church has got it at 24. <laughs> Nate, you're a nut. Deanna Church has it at 24. Randy's got it at 25. Randy has it at 25. Blue Flamingo, $26. Randy's got it at 27. Randy's got it at 27 with 15 seconds to go. Blue Flamingo's got it at 28 with five seconds to go. Randy, 29. Stop. Stop. Okay, let me go back in here and just make sure who got it, babies. Who's going to be? Yeah, it was close. <laughs> it was close. I've got Blue Flamingo Mercantile yep. on mine for $30. Blue Flamingo is on mine uh, for $30 on mine. Thank you, Blue Flamingo, baby. Randy and Blue Flamingo was going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Flamingo Mercantile. 36 is. I always get Blue Flamingo and Blue Feather mixed up in my head. You know what I mean? <laughs> Randy said we do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> y'all tie up a lot. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. That was good. All right. Okay, up next, I'm going to try to sell this again. This is uh, Peggy from 1981. This ain't my Aunt Peggy. I wouldn't be selling it if it was. The bell-shaped ceramic hobbyist piece with the holly embossed um, inside of it, just a tidbit tray or a trinket uh, candy dish, is $6, and it's number three. $6, number three, for the ceramic bell-shaped holly Candy dish. I haven't seen them in a while either, Katie. 
I sure hadn't. I hadn't seen him. I've seen him in a show, but I think it was somebody's show, but it, I think it was about a week or so ago. Hey, Margaret Johnson. <laughs> you can say whatever you want to, Margaret Johnson. It don't matter, baby. Would you say you haven't seen who in a while? Uh, Greg Blue Feather. Okay, that one didn't say all. Let me get. Okay, so that's uh two times for this night. Didn't sell on that. Okay. Up next, I have a uh, vintage hand crocheted stocking, the granny square kind. This one is the 15 inches tall, and it's got the red finished border on it. Just really, really cute. Got the little hanger made into the top of it. 15 inches long. Handmade granny square. And it is $7 number 30. $7 number 30 for the uh, vintage hand crochet stocking. <laughs> CJ Bailey, you got it, baby. Oh, sorry, babe. CJ Bailey. Okay, up next I have one of these. This is Harry Slatkin. Uh, he said he's a he makes real good home scents and candles and stuff like that. And he made a line of uh, candle toppers. And these are just decoratives. It's by his comp, uh, his line called Homeworks under there. And these are all new, um, never been used or anything. This one is of a pumpkin. That's right, Sherry Lynn. And um, they just fit on these, you know, big old glass. I could have got me an orange one, I guess, and showed it on there. But this was what I had, this cinnamon-like one. And you just set it on top of the can uh, candle like that for decoration, I guess. I don't know. But the pump, the Harry Slack candle topper, the pumpkin one, is $6 and it's number 10. $6 and it's number 10. <laughs> Dang, man, that candle smells good. It does smell good. My God, it's got this whole kitchen smelling, don't it? Be in a church that I spy more Christmas behind Miss Pamela. What did she say? I she spy saw more Christmas. <laughs> I've never. This is the first time I've ever seen them. Really? Uh, Grace, twenty ten. Oh, honey, that they come off of QB, QVC. That's where he sells his stuff, Harry Slatkin. And I'm telling you, if you ever find a Harry Slatkin candle at a yard sale or a garage sale or a state sale, do yourself a favor and buy it because you'll be glad you did. Those things smell amazing. Okay, up next is this Wilson Certified News. Now, this is a news company, publishing company, out of, uh, it was located at the press. Prudential Plaza in Chicago, Illinois, and this is from 1956, and this was published for all Wilson folks by Wilson and Company, and this was given out at Christmas time, and I would think that during their Christmas party that they would sing these songs and stuff, but I want you to look at the graphics in this thing, and I mean, this is just like it came off the press. Thank you. I mean, it's like brand new. There's a church and it gives, you know, tells about Christmas and what it means to them and everything. And then there's the songs and the graphics over here on the side. And look at this picture on the back of a 1950s Christmas tree, the living room. I mean, and the colors are beautiful. It's not showing up good on here, 
you know, as good as it really is. Oh, wait a minute. Is it because I got my light turned off? Yeah, turn your light on. Hold on a minute. Let me see. Maybe you can see better like that. I hold it a little bit closer. Oh. But anyway, it is, and it's got, let's say, how many songs it's got in it. Well, I don't know. It's got, I think it's 10 songs. And it is $8, number 35, for the 1956 Wilson Certified News, December 1956 songbook. Barb J.M. Barb J.M. Thank you, Barbara. 35 is Barb J.M. <laughs> Judy Gillespie. Uh, no, uh, sh I'm sorry, Sherry Lynn said, Kelly, look at how y'all got signed a pose behind your mommy. Looks like you had a little too much eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up next I have a 1970s, one of these vintage macrame plant hangers. And it is real pretty. It's that avocado green and it's got yellow um, yellow wood accents on it. Let me see if I can get this bamboo in here. Show you how it sits. Oh, hold on, Mom. How does it go? Just like that. Here you go. It's just a bin. You know, it just keeps your plant. It's got the uh, metal ring at the top. Just really, really cute. And this is just a little bitty. Um, that's a little pot. A little pot, but it'll open up bigger. But this is the only thing I've got that's still alive inside the house, you know. But the uh, macrame, macrame plant hanger from 1970s. Green is $15 and it's number 19. $15, number 19. Thank you, Sherry Lynn. Thank you, Thanks, baby. Number 19. There it is. Sherry Lynn. I got you something right there. You do? Oh, okay. Okay, up next I have a new old stock. This is from, let's see, the 1960s. This is a, let me see if I can think of the name. L, L Reen, E L R E N E Manufacturing Company. It's a 67 inch round tablecloth and it's never been used, but it is the, Lace stitch tablecloth permanently pressed with soil release finish. The fabric in this tablecloth is Visa, B I S A. 65% Dacron and 35% combed cotton. No ironing necessary and machine washable. Hey, Miss Helen. Miss Helen said her. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Oh, anyway. It is um, involved, I mean, it has got a design on it that I don't know if you're, that you're going to be able to see in there, but it's. Um, it's a paisley-like design. Um, dang, I wish they could see that. They can see it, Mom. I'm looking at it on my thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just got to keep it still enough so they can see it. Look, let, oh, me, I'm let, sorry. Me, let me do it. Okay. But the, it's got the lace trim on the bottom. It is... Did I tell y'all the size? 67-inch round. 67-inch round. Hmm. That don't look like no round tablecloth. That looks like a square tablecloth. No, I see the, okay. All right. But it is just gorgeous. And you also, it's still got the little cardboard piece inside of it. This ain't never even been out of the package except for me opening it up to show it to y'all. 
can you get over it? I mean, I just can't get over it. And here's a little thing that came inside of it. But it's not green now. Y'all saw it was white. But that was the one that came on, you know, came in the package with it. Sorry. It's okay. I got it. And the um, vintage new all stock tablecloth with the lace edge, 67 inches round. It's $15, number 16. $15, number 16. Katie is the best wrench. Yay, 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 Katie. And Not all my wrenches. Vintage and vinyl's <laughs> doing good. I was just fixing to say uh vintage and vinyl. Thank you so much. You're working hard. We, we appreciate all the wrenches and everything y'all are doing. Thank y'all so much. Sherry Lynn said, Kelly, y'all find another one of those plant holders. I need one. One of the macrame ones, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll be on the lookout. Well, I've got another one, but I don't have a plant big enough to put in it. And show it. Okay, no interest in the tablecloth. We'll put it aside. Okay, I'm going to do another offer up. Let me get my timer set. Hang on oh, a second. Oh, wait a minute. We haven't done a number generator. Oh, Kelly's going to do a number generator. Excuse the heck out of me. Here we go. She, she's just going to do her number generator and give away $10. $10 credit on the number generator. Let's say today's the 24th. Uh, 10, 24. I think so. Let me add Nate over here before I forget him because I would hate for him to get behind it and not. Because who knows? In two months, he may get enough money to ship something to him. Hey, Kimberly. $10 store credit. Kelly's. Um, Give me just a minute. There's some new people coming in. Precious okay. Lavender and Buttons came in. Mm hmm. Winking Owl Antiques. Hey, Barb. Uh, Kimberly Duncan. I will be. I will be. Winking Owl Antiques. Margie. We mentioned a, a number generator and folks start coming. <laughs> Hey, hit the thumbs up. What was that? Sarah says she ain't gonna do something till they get uh you know how you don't you don't know. Sarah will say, I'm not gonna do so and so until you I get um 150 mm -hmm. likes. But uh, 150 likes or whatever. All right, y'all give me just a minute because now all of a sudden hey, I Norma Jean plus we mentioned one. a number generator and folks start commenting, so now I'm having to write down names like hazy. Hey retro Ruby. This overstuffed house, we need a, yes, 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 yes. We need 100 thumbs up at least. Sharon Hill, well, thank you, Hey, Sharon, Sharon Hill, thank you, baby. Gemini 3, <laughs> look at this. Hey, Tina, how are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. I was so tickled, I was tickled to death the other night. I was laying in bed, and I heard that thing go, ba -ding! and I thought, what in the world is this? And it was your video popped up where you'd done a shot with me. Drift with me. Maria, California Thicker said oh, she loves her trivet. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad, honey. Michael, Hey, Michael Todd. Uh, husband number two, where in the world you been tonight? Huh? Two-timing me with somebody else, I reckon. Taking somebody else up in that treasure trove of a honey hole you got. All right, we got... I got 93 people listed down. I know there's 144 in the chat, but if no, if they didn't comment, their name didn't go on the thing, on, on the books. So we're fixing to go. Go, baby. 93. 93. <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> All right. Whoever is number seven. Who is number seven, baby? Give number it to Number seven is Laura Bemos. Bemos Mark Laura Bemos. Hallelujah. Congratulations, Laura. Laura Bemos, $10, 1024. Hot dog. That about pay for your shipping, won't it, baby? Okay, let's see. All right.
Let me get this set for the timer. Okay. Up next, I have a set, new new old stock from the, uh, the Vermont Country Store. And it is the Carolers and Lamp Post Candle Set. And wait till you see these bad boys. Look at here. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Let me turn this off. I'm just turning that off. Look at that. Never been used. Never been used. The girl and the boy caroler. Uh, and, uh, another little cello, a cello player right there. And then uh, the lamp post. Just as precious as they can be. And again, it's from the Vermont Country Store. Never been used. They're, they're on their little, you know, they've got their little stands down here. And we're going to do an offer up for them going for 90 seconds. Starting at $8, go. Jeanette Statler's got it at 15. Wendy Melton said, are they candles? Yes, Wendy. Yes, they're candles. Yes, they're wax candles. Jeanette Statler has it at 15. Debbie Shaw, uh, actually, sorry, Don Maserati's got it at 18. Don Maserati's got it at 18. Wendy Melton has got it at 20. Wendy Melton they has it so at 20. Cute. Let me see if I can. No, it's sealed. I can't. Really? Don Maserati has it at 23. Let me see if I can hold them up. Penny Forshee has them at 25. Don Maserati, 26. 20 seconds. Let me put this back down before I drop these out and break them. Something. Five seconds. Stop. Stop. Okay, let me see who got that. You already got it done. That's okay, huh? Oh, you know who got it? Yeah, well, because she's continuing to comment way higher. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to help her. Yeah, Don Maserati for $26. Thank you, Don. Let me put her name on here. That is the it, cutest set. That's okay, Don. I was watching it. <laughs> that's what she was saying when she was out bidding herself. That's okay. Kelly Kelly wouldn't let you do that. I'm trying to watch. Hey, Lucid. Thank you, babies, for bidding on that with me. Okay, up next I have a magazine, a vintage magazine. This is January, February 1969. I want you to look at this cover. I mean, it ain't even dog-eared nowhere. This is daily forecast for all 12 signs, your personal horoscope from 1969. Can you just possibly imagine what this would be? Lucy Curious, say hello. But it is, hey Lucy, it is just, look at Angela Lansbury, hi. That was way before any murder she wrote days. I'm telling you that right now. And Rabbi Shanker. Rabbi Shanker. I don't know half these people. Sherry Lynn said, what month? You can get along with the, all those difficult signs. It's January, February, 1969. But it's a daily forecast for all 12 signs. But this is just when it was put out. Look at this, the White Witches of England. Lord have mercy, goodness. Witches and warlocks in America are descended from the old English stock. Oh, this ought to prove to be interesting. 
Capricorn, the key to your destiny. The telescope on the Hollywood stars. I mean, this is just going to, it would be a really interesting book. I'm going to tell you that right now. Omar Sharif. Lord have mercy. January said I was one years old. Mama J was 12. January, February, 1969. Your personal horoscope, all 12 signs, is $7 and it's number 20. $7 number 20. Sherry Lynn. Uh, you put you put the price, baby. Jeanette Statler got it. Jeanette Statler. Jeanette Statler. Jeanette Statler. Thank you, Miss Jeanette. Jeanette Statler. Norma Jean said she can't wait to go shopping with us. We find the coolest things. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I got you something else right there. I got you two things. Okay. Now, this is neat as I'll get out right here. If anybody had in the chat or, or watching this has anybody who is a railroad fanatic, a scale railroad fanatic, or a big time full size railroad fanatic, this is this is something pretty special because I've never seen this and I've been collecting ephemera for, for, for probably 40 years. This is from the Southern Railway System. And it is the Pupils Railroad Kit. And it has never even been used. It says, from B.E. Young, assistant to the president of the Southern Railway System, Washington, 13, D.C. So, this is, and it's still, it's got the letter. The letter that they sent with it. It's got the passenger trains. Tell, tells them all about the passenger trains, how many they have. Just, I mean, it's just chock full of information. And it's just for them to learn about trains and click. It's got two comic books, Railroads Deliver the Goods. And it's printed by the Association of American Railroads, Transportation Building, Washington, D.C. It's okay, Sherilyn. We do, we do the same thing, honey. This one says Rails Across America. And I mean, they, they've never even been... They've never even been read or colored or wrote in or nothing. Let me see if I can find a date. John Maserati said, I'm a railroad conductor. Some of your shit. 1957 is the date on this stuff. This one is locomotives and trains of the Southern Railway System from wood burners to diesel powered steam liners. And this is just a big poster. It, it folds way out. And... Then you've got the lamps and signals. It tells you all about the railroad. It tells you what these little signals mean. I'm looking, Wendy Melton. The story of the Southern Railway System. What you looking for, baby? She's wanting to know the, what year. 1957. And it's got railroads at work. This, again, is all of this is from the Association of Railroads. Now, this one, they did color in the... Uh, Little book right here that covered colored two continents. I mean, not continents. They colored Alaska and Atlantic Ocean. But it's got pictures in here showing what they do and where they stop and what they get when they stop. Just a, it's just a real interesting packet of information from 1957, all about the Southern Railway System. And it's twenty dollars for all of this. Number twenty-seven. Twenty dollars, number twenty-seven. Show them this. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but it, yeah, that, the letter that goes with it. If I had one, I'd be dangerous. Rails Across America comic book. Don Maserati. Thank you, Don. Don Maserati. Number twenty-seven is Don. Your baby, put that way there. Thank you, Michael Todd. I'm so upset. 
maybe Kelly will hang in an extra hour. <laughs> my God, I'm so sorry I'm this late. Maybe Kelly will hang in an extra hour. Because he knows I got to do my DG at nine. Yeah, yes. Yeah, what are you saying? <laughs> Baby, can you fix that? Legs on that? Or just lay it down? Did you see my message? Well, I guess I better turn it back on. Why is it so blurry? Because I'm not in it. Okay. Up next is a set of uh, ceramic Noel letters. Now, these are newer. These aren't true vintage, but they're the candle holder Noel. Four inches tall and an inch thick. And it's all four, you know, N-O-E-L, and they're flat okay. bottoms. So they'll, I mean, they, they're vintage, but they're not, you know. I'll hold these two. N O E L, and they got the holes for the can, you know, the candle holders, and four inches tall and one inch thick. Got the, you know, flat bottoms, and they're twenty dollars, and they're number one for the four inch tall Noel letter candle holders. Thank you, Katie. Thrill of the thrift is Katie. No, thrill of the thrift said D. Uh, Teresa Calderini. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you, Kara. I, th I think that's cute, too. Teresa Calderini. Calderini. You're going to love those, Teresa. Need a few more thumbs up. Need look a few more the, thumbs up. The comments for a minute, Mom. Well, Wait a minute. Too far back. What I missed. Let me see. Did D, Was it D that brought something to my attention? I don't know. I'm just saying. Look at it for a minute while I do something else. Oh, I thought you. <laughs> mercy. I thought you knew for me. I thought I'd do mess something up. I just found that exact set at a basement sale. Did you, Abby? I don't guess you could go and find me one of those uh, humongous uh, feather trees, vintage feather trees like uh, Tarnished Treasures got, did you? Wait a minute. I have to sneak your packages in my house. <laughs> well, we all got our crosses to bear, honey. It could be worse. Yes, and they are definitely vintage made in Japan. Well, see, mine didn't have no stickers or nothing on them, so I didn't know. And they're in perfect condition. They ain't even, don't even look like they ever been. They certainly don't have any wax in the holes. I can tell you that right now. I mean, but th they didn't have a, you know, a sticker or anything on them anywhere. Okay, here's another one of those Harry Slatkin Homeworks uh, candle toppers for the big jar candles or the pillar candles. And this is an apple. Look how real that looks. I mean, don't that, that is just painted so pretty. And it is, you know, it just fits on the big, like Good I said. Good night, Norma Jean. Good night, Norma Jean. And it is $6, number 50, for the Harry Slatkin Homeworks Candle Topper, the apple. How does the scent come out? Baby, it, you put it on there when you get through burning it. It's just a, it's just a cute way to, you know, just to keep from having a candle sitting there, I reckon. I don't know. No, you don't burn it with this on there. After the live sale nerves and packaging. Ain't that packaging a bottle of last, Michael Todd? Penny for she. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> Michael Todd said he's a nervous. Are you a nervous wreck and wore out? What's the what's with aluminum trees? Everybody's no. wanting aluminum trees. What's what's Oh honey, trees? I don't have any aluminum trees. No, I'm saying everybody's they're just they're just com they're just talking amongst themselves. I'm just wondering what an aluminum tree is. I mean, those silver trees. Tree. Those silver. So it's made out of aluminum, mm -hmm. but I mean, I don't. I guess it's a new fad now, or is it something that's antique? It's something that's vintage, and everybody. Oh, okay. 
The Christmas trees from the 50s, uh, Katie said. Okay. Up next is this. Let's see when this is from. 1982, Whitman, The First Christmas Nativity. It's a punch-out nativity that's never been used, never even been punched out. It's got the three kings. Sure, the so manger. Way before, your, way before your time, Kelly. The angels. The roof. There's the other side of the manger. The other, rest of the kings. Angels. The animals. A camel and a donkey. And I can't believe some kid, but it's Whitman, 1982. Manger scene. And that's what it looks like when it's all put together. You know, they stand up. You got the little tabs and you insert the tabs and keep them all together. And the 1982 Whitman Nativity Punch-Out set is $8 and it's number 12. $8, number 12. Mama J says, ask Dee about aluminum trees. <laughs> Wendy Melton, you got it, baby. Wendy Melton. Wendy Melton. Okay. okay. I'm going to do an offer up real quick. Okay, we'll do it. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm going to do another offer up. Let me type in the start. Lord, I can't get used to this darn laptop. And we're going to go for 90 seconds. No, no, no. We're going to go for 50, 60 seconds on this one. I'm sorry. 60 seconds because that was just taking too long a while ago. 60 seconds. And it is a vintage. It's Mark Japan on the back. It's a jack-o'-lantern face on the front. And it, it's a toy that goes up and down like this. Have you ever in your life seen anything like it? I mean, here's the back of it, and you just work it like that, and it works just as cute, just as easy as it can be. I thought it was the cutest thing in the world, but we're going to start it, the bidding at $5, go. Going to run it for one minute, starting the bid at $5 for one minute. I just thought it was precious. Penny four, she's got it at ten, uh, 20. Penny got four, the she's Japan got it sticker 20. on the back, and there's not a thing in the world wrong with it. The wood's not even splintered. It's got the little Co flathead nails in it. Cozy Curated Cottage has got it at 21. I mean, look at that. How cute. 30 seconds. Th no, I'm sorry. 31 seconds. This overstuffed house, 22. <laughs> I just thought that. I mean, what kid wouldn't like that, you know? For a toy to play with. Don't you know that kept some kids busy? Four, she 25. For hours on end. Ten seconds. Seven. Oh, Cozy Curated Cottage is 26. One. Stop. Okay, let me go back and make sure he won it. <coughs> Uh-oh. Yep, it's Penny for she for $27. Number 24, $27. Thank you, Penny. That is the cutest thing. You're going to love it. And I couldn't believe how sturdy and what good condition it was in to be so old. Hey, Rachel. Hey, darling. Okay. Up next is this Santa figurine. It's made of porcelain. Let's see how. He's a little over nine inches tall. He's got a beautiful red cape on. He's sitting on a pile of snow. 
He's porcelain. He's got toys hanging off of his belt. A real sweet face. And he's just in excellent, excellent condition. He's got on green pants. A little over nine inches tall. And he's showing up real, real shiny on here. But the only thing that's shiny on him is all the fur and his beard and everything in the snow. All the white parts are super shiny. The rest of it is matte. But it's really super soft. Like it's got... I don't know, like it's just been rubbed or something. Bye, Nate. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Nate Pooh. I love you, darling. But the uh, 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 nine-inch porcelain Santa Claus with the red cape is ten dollars. Number nine. Ten dollars. Number nine. Miss Teresa, you got that, baby. Teresa Calderini. You're going to be fixed for Christmas. Okay, up next. I couldn't believe I unpacked this the other day. After Abby showed hers, I thought, God, that's so cute. I went, you know, why don't I ever find cute stuff like this? And I go out there in the tote, look what I felt. Pull out. The Midfield News, Midfield, Alabama. Uh-oh. Midfield, Alabama, Christmas sale paper. Christmas dinner, Merry Christmas. Festive foods at handsome savings. And it's all, um, it is from Wednesday, December the 16th, 1959. Is the date on it. And it's just, you know, there's weekly circular showing all of their um, bargains for your holiday feast. Just as cute as it can be. And everything is done in uh, red and green. And I just thought that that Santa Claus and Merry Christmas was just so cute. But the vintage uh, circular ad for from December the 16th, 1959 Christmas sale paper is $15 and it's number 26. $15, number 26. You ain't got to make money. Just send it all to me, Rachel. See? <laughs> I would frame the front and back of that. Yep, Grace. It'd be so pretty framed. I've done that to several I've had. Thanks, Katie Bug. Who on earth would have kept these things? I know it. I know it, honey. I've done, I'd be uh, writing notes or something on some. I mean, I write notes all the time. The other day, they don't send deposit slips in with your checks anymore. You know, they don't send them. And when you get checks, that's the only reason I ordered checks was so I could get deposit slips with it. Well, they didn't send any. So I was sending, I tore part of the Tuscaloosa News off and wrote mine in the cop in the area between the columns on the newspaper. My deposit. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay. Up next is another hand crocheted um, stocking. With the, you know, the hanger at the top. This one is green and red. And it has white toes, tops, and heels. And it is 16 inches long. And it is $7, number 29. $7, number 29. Sabrina Simon, you got it, sweet pea. Sabrina Simon. Mm-hmm. You want to give away another ten dollars? Yeah. Number generator. <clears throat> Kelly's going to do another number generator to give away ten more dollars. Well, they sound like when Prince died, Daddy Louie. 
And guess what cries up my space? My dad's furniture. <laughs> That's the way it goes, ain't it? You can buy deposit slips separately from your bank, Pam. You get like around 100. For oh, well, honey, there ain't no way I need no 100. That's for sure. I will check with them, though, and see if they have some I can. Honey, my bank, I bank at a credit union. And um, the lobby has been locked up since the middle of March. You can't even go in there. I don't know how they're surviving, how they're doing loans. I guess online. <coughs> Kelly's giving away number another 59. $10. Who won it? Number 59. Number 59 is Pam's Eclectic Place. Congratulations, Pam. Pam's Eclectic Place. You want a $10, you have a $10 store credit that you can use anytime you want to, baby. We keep up with them and <coughs> and you know give it to you. It never expires. As long as I'm on here selling stuff, you can use it. Do you want to try to do this one that I mm -hmm. sell? Um hand me those brightens. Hand me those brightens right there. Let me see if I got okay. Any girls that are an eight medium in the house, perk your ears up. These Brighton shoes are brand new. Brand new Brightons. They were $175. And I got them on sale for $105. But I have never, I never wear them. I have never worn them. I have I tried them on in the store. They fit great. They're comfortable. But there ain't no sense in me keeping them. Look at these bottoms. Real genuine leather bottoms. Genuine leather bottoms. Look at that toe. They're braided brown leather. Got the Brighton logo right there. Low heel mules. Size eight mediums. We're going to offer these bad boys up. You need a 14. Eight size eight medium, Christy. We're going to offer these up. And like I said, they're, they were $175. I got them on sale at Belt for $105. And I'm going to offer them up and start. Hold on a second. Let me get that timer up here. Oh, start. S-T-A-R-T. I'm going to start these bad boys off. Oh, gosh. I keep on messing that up. Okay. We're going to start it at $10 for mules, leather mule size 8 medium. Vintage fit. <laughs> I know, they're genuine leather, leather soles, leather uppers, brightens. They are 10 I mean, size eight medium. I am eight medium. Connie's got them so far at ten dollars with twenty seconds left. Wow. Yep. Ten seconds left. Oh. Yes. Jojo Mama, twelve dollars. Victoria H has got it at twenty. What? Um. Scott. Okay, let me put these back in here, right? Thank you. Let me get back in here and see if you got it. Oh, it's not. That's not the right one. If you find any more of these, I won't. <laughs> I offered you them. Okay, where's my stop at? Denise Nasser, you got them for $22, baby. Denise Nasser, $22. Thank you, baby. I'm just glad somebody can get some use out of them because I'm I, they just because I got them in black and brown and I kept the black ones, you know, because I wear those, you know, when I go to church or a funeral or something like that. But that ain't no sense in them just sitting in there in that closet. Ain't no sense in the world. 
And these snacks are $22. You are going to love those bad boys, girl. Oh, let me get something else. Okay, now I have four of these Luminara remote control ornaments, and they're all brand new in the box. I opened one of them so I could show y'all how they work. There's two of the silver and rose gold, and they have the they have the uh, satin ribbon to hang them with. But this is open. It's got a Luminara candle in there, and it's got a little, and it all comes apart for you to store it. It's got the little candle ring, the candle, and the remote control. And they run off of batteries. And the reason I'm telling y'all that I opened this is because to show y'all this, I had to take, I did this at 2 o'clock today. I had to take the little battery protector out. But I'm telling you that that's the first time it's been done like that since I've had them. And it is, let me turn this light off. Kelly, turn the overhead light off, baby, and let me show them how this looks. The little remote control, you can hang it on a tree or you can set it in the, um, set it on a shelf. But I don't know if you, no, that ain't showing up good. Heideckers. Let me turn this one off. Hold that up there and let me turn this other one off. Hot flickers back and forth. Um, but they are so pretty. Um. Back up a little bit, baby, and see if it gets better. Nope. It's not. You're seeing it in there. You've got to look at it on there. It looks much different to the Oh, okay, than okay. It to you. Okay, I'm baby. holding it right. Um, I'm sorry, baby. That's all right. Um, but anyway, the I've got two, and so it's going to go to the, I'm going to do the two rose gold ones first. And the first and second person to claim it gets one each. And the Luminara uh, remote control tea light candle ornament is $15, number seven. And there's two of them. $15, number seven. And they Victoria, do look really Victoria H. Victoria H. and Teresa Calderini get the two uh, rose gold ones. <laughs> Teresa Calderini. And let me get. I got them over here. And who did I say, Victoria? No, who was that? Teresa Calderini. <clears throat> and Victoria H. Thank you, girls. Those are gorgeous. I mean, it, and it looks just like a real flame. And you can just turn it off. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Put this back in here. Okay, so let me get the two. It come, they come with the ribbon and, and two replacement batteries. One for the remote and one for the candle. What number is this? Number seven. Okay, so Teresa Calderini got one. Uh-huh. And Victoria H. got one. Of the rose gold. They got the two rose gold ones. And there's the other rose gold. Teresa and Victoria H. Thank you, girls, so much. I can't wait till y'all get those and see them in person. They got the two rose gold. Okay. Um. How many people we got in here? How do you tell? How many people? 135. All right. I'm going to do a, a one minute and 30 second, a 90, 
a 90 second offer up on this 1988 14 inch Coca-Cola Santa and he stands up by himself and he's made by the Russian company. He's not marked, but everything I've researched online says that the Russian company made these four riches and Coca-Cola. He is 14 inches tall. He stands by himself. He is in perfect immaculate condition. One minute and 30 seconds. Okay. We're going to go for 90 seconds. We're going to start it at $10. Start. 90 seconds. With the side eye Santa. Michael Todd's got it at 40. No fair, Michael. <laughs> no fair, Michael. <laughs> One minute left. Exactly. And Michael Todd's got it at 40. He came in letting folks know he wants this Santa. He ain't playing. What number is he? He is. We don't know. Well, I had it right here. That's okay. Uh -huh. 40 seconds. Well, Kelly, that's all right. No worries. Vintage Vinny said 40 a one. 40 $40 and one cent. I know. <laughs> Y'all are so crazy. Ten seconds. Penny four, she's got it at forty five. <sighs> Two, one, stop. Dang. Let me get this back in here. Let me see who got this bad boy. Penny four, she got it for forty five. Good going, Penny. Good going, baby. Thank you. Have you ever in your life I have just lost that darn thing? That's all right. <laughs> this is so crazy. Oh, here he is. He's number 46. Lord have mercy. 45 dollars. Thank you, baby. 46 is for a penny for she. My future husband lost out on that one. I'm sorry, baby. Gotta pay for AA meetings and rehab. <laughs> ah, I love it. Uh Hey, I got some boutique sweaters from Atlanta's March. Y'all want to, the girls want you? It's okay, my heart. Oh, thank you, baby. What was the number on the Santa? 40. 46, Penny, is the number on the Santa. 46 is the number on the Santa. <coughs> mm-hmm. Number 46. Okay. I have, um... Four sweaters, two small mediums, and two medium larges that I got at market. Does anybody, is anybody interested in seeing those? Teresa Bryant. Angel, for drunk Santa, probably free. <laughs> They're saying sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Okay. The first one, I have a 
um, the first person who claims one, if anybody claims it, gets their choice of color because these are identical except for the color. One is gray and white and one is maroon and white. And these are the small mediums. So, this is the, they're tunic style tops with the handkerchief uh, bottoms. What is it, Kelly? Nothing? You just move it too fast. I'm sorry. I'm watching. I mean, like I'm a like And I'm a they, uh, they're long-sleeved, gray, and they have the handkerchief bottoms on them. These are the small mediums. And they are, hang on, let me get the ticket. Teresa Calderini said it looks big. Do they, they do run big. They run. They do run a little bit big. Um, I put one on earlier, and I don't know what size would you say I am, like a 6'8"? Yeah. These are more like a medium-large, and the medium-large is more like a large-extra-large. They're, they're, they're just roomy. But um, this is... Uh, these are $12 and they're number 40. $12 number 40 and one is gray and one is maroon. All right, serendipity, my Melanie, you got the first claim. So what color do you want, baby? You want the maroon or the gray? Melanie wants the gray. Wants the gray. And Teresa Calderini, do you want the maroon or not? Or uh yeah, they're a round collar. Teresa Calderini says sure for the maroon. Thank y'all girls so much. I think you're going to like these. And they do, yeah, like I said, they do run a little big. And then, I've got the same colorways, and they're calling this size a medium large, but to me, this, this is more like a large, extra large. But, you know, they're just roomy. They're not, it's not like it hangs on you, but see the, oh, that's the paper out of it. This is the, see, this is a little big on me and I wear extra large. So these would be more like a large, extra large, a large, extra large 1X, I would think. The gray and the maroon in these as well. And it is number Forty-two for the large, extra large. It's Colin, but it's number forty-two, and it's twelve dollars for these. Gray or maroon? Pink elephant parlor. Which color do you want? Gray or maroon? <clears throat> pink elephant parlor and Patricia Gesner. Pink elephant par parlor. You got to pick your color. Uh, you want number forty-two, so uh, do you want gray or maroon? She said both. Uh, I mean, you get stuff okay. Stuff. All right. Pink elephant parlor gets gray and the maroon. Pink. Yeah. Elephant parlor. Gray and maroon. Yeah, they would be cute with skinny. Uh, what do you call those things? Like cigar pants, like leggings. Leggings. Mm -hmm. Any? Are you having a Christmas sale? I think we're all going to have Christmas sales. Pink Elephant Parlor said if I can pick only one. Pink Elephant Parlor, if you can pick only one, you want gray. And then Patricia Gessner, do you want the maroon? She 
Jenkins. You're right, Jojo Mama. That's right. Jenkins. Yeah, that's right. Miss uh, Patricia Gessner, did you do you want the maroon? Because Miss uh, Pink Elephant Parlor wanted the gray, and she commented first. Wait until you see what Pamela has coming. Miss Christmas Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. Yes, but if she wants spice, she can have it. She said she just wanted the gray. So do you want the maroon? Patricia Gessner, do you want the maroon? She said yes. Okay, so pink elephant part color is gray. Change that to yeah. Patricia. Patricia. Okay. Hit the like button, please. Hit the like button. Yes, I'm going to do a, uh, now that I've got my laptop fixed and everything, and I ain't got that to worry about this week, I'm going to do my billing and stuff, uh, my packing and shipping Monday and Tuesday, and then I'm going to do my haul for my, uh, the last estate sales I've gone to. And, uh, we'll, uh, It'll be a lot of vintage Christmas in it, but, you, but I'll show it during the, I'll show, I may not have it all in one sale, but I'll show a lot of it in the haul video. You want the clothes off her back? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? How oh, much for the black sweatshirt? <laughs> y'all are so crazy. What are um, you doing now? We're going to do another, um, one more offer up and then um let's say one more offer up let me get my timers ready it's going to be for a seven and a half foot set strand of uh vintage mercury beads You've got another offer. okay well most of my christmas is going to be that way baby no, my vintage christmas because you said this was the last one. oh okay no no i'm sorry let me type in start. Okay. It's for a set of seven and a half. This is seven and a half foot long. It's got a little bell at the end of it. They're silver, green, and blue. And it looks like that there was some red in here, but it's turned to pink. It's like faded to pink. The red hat didn't hold up too good on this strand. But it's, set, it's beautiful nonetheless. I mean... And um, I think this is, I'm not going to say what millimeter because I'll be wrong, but to me it looks like it's about 15 millimeter, but I don't know really. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to answer. I'm just waiting for a break and Mama's talking. Go ahead, answer them. Um, um, Miss Virginia, hello. Those are the Luminara things that she... The blue ones. The blue ones. We'll do them in a minute. Sherry Lynn, we're going to try to find another plant holder. Go ahead. Okay. Um, we're going. This is a seven and a half feet long strand of vintage mercury bead garlands with the bell at the end of it. Blue, silver, gold, and green. It did have some red, but the red is worn worn off. There's places where it's still got a little bit of red, but not a lot. Some of, most of them look pinky looking, but we're going to. Um, yeah, they would be good for Easter. Go for 90 seconds, starting at $10, go. Somebody asked, what is Mercury Beads? They are vintage uh, mercury glass where they're, um, Jeanette, they're like. Jeanette Statler has them at $20. Mary Scott, $21. This overstuffed house, $22. <clears throat> Sorry, Lucid Curios. Uh, they're, I cut mama off. They're, they're just an antique bead. Hey, 
Debbie, can anybody explain what a mercury bead is? I mean, it's just, I just always know mercury, what mercury acid is. 48 seconds. 48 seconds. Mary Scott still has them at 21. Uh, I'm sorry, this overstuffed house has them at 22. Thirty seconds. Jeanette Statler has them at twenty-three. Oh, crusty beads, and it's fabulous! <laughs> I love it, Grace. I love it. Fifteen seconds. Blue flamingos got them at twenty-four. I'll hold them. Seven, six. This overstuffed house. Blue Flamingo's already got them at 24. One second. Go. Stop. Okay, let me get in here and see. What? I know I'm, I'm going at the chat. <laughs> well. Not. Why ain't it coming up here? I don't know, but I got it on mine. Who is it? Penny Forshe. Penny for how much? For twenty five dollars. Penny Forshe, you got the mercury beads for twenty five dollars. Came in at the very tip of it, and she was above the. Yep. Twenty five dollars. Number forty eight. Number forty eight. Penny was the mercury beads. Penny for she. Thank you, Angela. $25. Oh, my vintage. Good night. Thank you. Good night, darling. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow, sweet baby. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to take the battery thing off of these. Because they're like those other ones, except they're um, they're blue and silver, where those were um, gold and regular gold and rose gold. And say so this is how they come in the box. Miss Virginia, hello. This is what you were asking about a minute ago, honey. And see, it's got styrofoam down in there, and that's where the the glass ball is. I'm going to have to open it to get in there and get that out and show These it. still have all the, I mean, these are like brand new, y'all. They are. They've never been used. I mean, they've never been used. They're brand new. And say it's just a blown glass, hand-blown glass. Let me open this. Do you want me to? You, you said you want to put it to I'm not going to put the bat. I'm not going to take the thing out of the battery, but I'll put this in there. So they can just see how it is. And it's got the hanger. It's got the candle ring. And uh, see, this is what I was talking about. Those little protectors on the bottom that you remove and the battery starts working. That's what I took out of that other one this afternoon. And this is that one. See, it's silver and blue with green leaves for this one. Well, I guess I could straighten it up. And uh, that's how the candle flickers when it when it's when it's on. Don't they look real, Kelly? Mm -hmm. When yeah, they're burning. Very real. This is the brand that they sell them. What you gonna call it? I mean, uh -huh. these are expensive. Mm -hmm. This and these, there's two blue ones. So the first person, the first and second person to claim to uh, claim them in the chat will win. Will win them. And Sherry Lynn, your answer is yes. <clears throat> Thank Vintage Vinny. Their number, uh, they're fifteen dollars, and they're number seven for the Luminara. You can use it as an ornament. It's flat on the bottom, so you can sit it on a table, and they run by timers. Really? Yeah. All right. Um, Teresa and Victoria again. I'm that is so crazy. A, I'm going to have this, this whole big chair in here. It's going to have to be ter moved to Teresa. There you go, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. I just have to switch it. This, let me put this back in there so I don't... Make sure I got the tape on it too. Oh. 
Those are so pretty when they're lit up. Oh, my God, they're gorgeous. All right, so Teresa Calderini on one, Victoria H. on the other. That is so crazy, ain't it? Just like the other night when Ducky Jones, or who was that that got all the numbers? Oh, yeah. In succession. That was crazy, too. Ducky or Doug, one of the two, I can't remember. All of their numbers ended up being the same. Or like right in consecutive. As gold ones. Okay. Okay. There you go, baby doll. And here's a, something. Okay, next up is a Fitz and Floyd Classic. This is the canopy plate. And it is, the pattern is the Holly Bell's Christmas Classics. Fitz and Floyd. Just a canopy plate. Beautiful, beautiful for display or to use. And it is $10, number 18. $10, number 18. Ba -ba -boom. Teresa Calderini, you get the Fitz and Floyd Fitz and Floyd canopy plate. Thank you, baby. All right. Can you get something else? Yeah. There you go, baby. Okay, let me. It was number eighteen. Okay, I gotta switch her stuff. Okay, up next is a tacky plastic 1960s um, centerpiece or uh, use it on a table. It is plastic, holly, and berries, and you just don't get no more 1960s than that. And look at this beautiful Christmas scene planner it's in. It's got an old barn and some people riding in a sleigh, snow-covered pine trees and cedar trees, and it's got holly all around it. And it is... 15 inches tall from the bottom of the planter to the top up here. And it is just, I mean, it is just in perfect condition from the 1960s. And it is $18 for this goodness biz of plastic tackiness, number 38. $18, number 38 for this beautiful bit of Christmas tacky plastic. Teresa Calderini. You got it, baby doll. Oh, there's my pen. I keep laying that darn thing everywhere. Michael Todd said trash-tastic. <laughs> trash-tastic, Michael Todd. You're right. Belen, Me and Michael Todd love it. Valene Bel Shervinka put in a number for that, but I've never seen them before. There you go, baby. Welcome, Valen. Bel I don't know. A lot of people watch but don't comment. Mm -hmm. Okay, if there's any ephemeral lovers out there, I don't. I, I got this, and I thought it would be cute for anybody who collects office supplies, anybody who likes old school stuff, or anybody who just likes ephemera and to use it in a junk journal. I found a cache of this Lucky Star. This is a, their little thing on here. Lucky Star ruled paper from the 1950s. It's paper packs. It's got where you can order the prizes. You keep your, keep your, um, these little things that hold it together. I don't know what these are, but it's, um, and then you, you can send them in and redeem them for these prizes down here. You get cut the Lucky Stars out, you know, to redeem them. Lucky Star vintage papers. And I've got four packs of it. So the first four people to claim it or the first person, if you want all four, you can get all four. But there, um, there's nine sheets. It says nine sheets in each. And... Um, the, I just thought the graphics on the bands were pretty, pretty sleeves. There you go, Margie sleeves. But they're four dollars each, and they're number twenty-one. Four dollars each, number twenty-one. Okay. 
That's right, Grace 2010. Looks totally different nowadays, don't it? What? Kid, Nick, talking about how the kids look on the front. Yes, sleeves, y'all. I could, I could not think of that, Grace and Margie, to save my life. I heart old things. Uh, okay, I heart all things wants just one. So does anybody else want any uh, another pack of them for four dollars? Sabrina Simon. Okay. Barb J M. Barb J M wants one. Yeah, uh, Miss Jeanette, we've it, it, it's one per, and we already had two people claim. So, Miss Jeanette Statler, do you, are you okay with just getting one? Because if so, you'd be the fourth person. They'd be gone. Sabrina Simon, we've already got you for one, baby. I got Sabrina, I Heart Old Things, Barb JM, and I got one more left. And Miss Jeanette Statler, did you? Oh, Jeanette Statler wants the other one. Okay. <clears throat> I'll get this. Number 21, Jeanette Statler. You're welcome. Thank y'all, babies. Lucky Star. I'm just going to put Lucky Star on there. Deanna Church said, Miss Pamela, they were Williams Sonoma peppermint bark tans. Did they sell? I think yes. yeah, I think they did, Miss Deanna Church. Mm -hmm. uh, I got it on mine. You got okay. 21. Okay, you got it on yours. Yeah, I, did. I got all four of them. Thank you, baby. Okay, this is the last of my hand crocheted uh, granny square stockings, but this is the big whammer jammer. This is two feet tall. The granny squares, it's, yeah, two inches, two feet long. I'm sorry. Red, green, and white granny squares. It's got the little, you know, hanger at the top to hang it off of. Hand crocheted. And the two foot long hand crocheted granny square stocking is $10, number 28. $10, number 28. <laughs> You're welcome, Sabrina. Have we got another hurricane coming? What? What are you talking about? Barb JM got this two foot tall stocking, number 28. Have we got another? Is there, what are y'all talking about? Is there another hurricane? Yes, ma'am, Teresa Bryant says. Oh, my word. Heavens. That's where my daddy's half of the family, side of the family's from. Okay. It's nine o'clock. Any page. Good night, Margie. Okay, we're going to wind it up because Kelly's, it's well, nine o'clock. No, we, we can do something else. I was just saying it's nine o'clock, but well, I was trying to see what else we had. Do you not want to do this? Not right now. This other no stocking thing. Mm -mm. We'll save those for next time. What are these for? My other ones. You know. That's it. So that's it. I'm on. Look at that. I'm online. She's holding out on us. <laughs> No, I just said next week is going to be all vintage and I'm going to save it for next week. So anybody that y'all know that like, y'all probably wouldn't tell them though, would you? Y'all be just like me. Y'all be hoarding it up for yourself. You wouldn't be telling anybody anything. I love y'all to pieces though. And thank you so much for coming and talking to us in the chat. And thank you to the ones that bought something. And thank you to the ones that just come out and wanted to hang out with us and have a good time with me and Kelly. And thank you to the, all the wrenches and even ones that wrenches that help answer questions. We greatly appreciate it. Yes. This, this feed goes fast. And when you're having to walk back and forth and do stuff, it really helps out a lot. We appreciate it. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to be about 80% vintage Christmas, crusty, dusty, vintage Christmas next week. 
Oh, yes. we always have fun, y'all. We love y'all. Roll we tide. We love y'all, too. Roll Tide. Love y'all, too. Have a good night. And uh, probably when, it'll probably be Wednesday before I get my video edited and get it up with a haul of the vintage Christmas. But I'll do it before the sale so y'all can see. I love y'all to pieces. Mwah. Bye, everyone. They are so cute.